Welcome to the exhilarating world of hovercrafts, where land and water unite, defying the ordinary and embracing the extraordinary. In this high-octane adventure, we'll glide over water, skim across land, and navigate terrains like never before. Hold on tight as we unveil the cutting-edge technology and sleek designs that power these incredible machines, propelling us into a future where the sky's the limit and the waves are just the beginning. Get ready to embark on a thrilling ride, it's time to lift off and hover into the future of transportation. A hovercraft, also known as an air cushion vehicle or ACV, is an amphibious craft capable of traveling over land, water, mud, ice, and other surfaces. Hovercraft use blowers to produce a large volume of air below the hull, or air cushion, that is slightly above atmospheric pressure. The pressure difference between the higher pressure air below the hull and lower pressure ambient air above it produces lift, which causes the hull to float above the running surface. For stability reasons, the air is typically blown through slots or holes around the outside of a disc or oval-shaped platform, giving most hovercraft a characteristic rounded rectangle shape. The first practical design for hovercraft was derived from a British invention in the 1950s. They are now used throughout the world as specialized transports in disaster relief, coast guard, military and survey applications, as well as for sport or passenger service. Hovercraft can be powered by one or more engines. Smaller craft, such as the SRN6, usually have one engine with the drive split through a gearbox. On vehicles with several engines, one usually drives the fan or impeller, which is responsible for lifting the vehicle by forcing high-pressure air under the craft. The air inflates the skirt under the vehicle, causing it to rise above the surface. Additional engines provide thrust in order to propel the craft. Some hovercraft use ducting to allow one engine to perform both tasks by directing some of the air to the skirt, the rest of the air passing out of the back to push the craft forward. Small commercially manufactured, kit or plan built hovercraft are increasingly being used for recreational purposes, such as inland racing and cruising on inland lakes and rivers, marshy areas, estuaries and inshore coastal waters. The world's first car carrying hovercraft was made in 1968, the BHC Mountbatten class models, each powered by four Bristol Proteus turboshaft engines. These were both used by rival operators Hoverloid and Seaspeed to operate regular car and passenger carrying services across the English Channel. Hovercraft serve many purposes, however they are not as much used as other sources of transportation. That's all for today, see you in another video.